Philippine security officials are leaving nothing to chance for the visit of several world leaders, including U.S. President Barack Obama and China President Xi Jinping, for the APEC Economic Leaders Meeting. On Saturday, November 14, days before the meet, the interagency task force in charge of APEC security holds a full-scale simulation to practice and spot loopholes in their plans. Choppers buzz overhead, military tanks occupy the street, and companies of soldiers and police flock the venue to practice their response to the country's worst-case scenario, a bombing or terrorist attack. Elite anti-terrorism units from both the Philippine military and police lead the exercise at the PICC, the venue for the economic leaders' meeting. It's timely. On the same day of the dry run, security alerts worldwide heighten following a terrorist attack in Paris that kills over 100 people. Police say there are no reports of terrorist threats during APEC, but on Saturday, President Benigno Aquino III convenes the cabinet security cluster in Malacanang. Our security plan for APEC summit includes contingency plan for a terrorist attack. So uh, we were instructed by our president to prepare for a worst case scenario. And when, when you have prepared for this for quite a long time, uh, uh, your only concern would be the, the people you put on the ground would deliver us as trained, as prepared for, and uh, we remain confident that we could uh, we could uh, weather any 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 challenges, security challenges, for our APEC hosting. On top of terrorist threats, Philippine police also worry about protesters. Over 32,000 personnel are deployed to different areas around Metro Manila to secure the APEC meet. 10,000 of those are civil disturbance management personnel from the PNP. It is a security plan that is almost one year in the making. The head of the APEC Security Task Force and the chief of the Philippine National Police says he is confident in his men and women. Terrorists, violent protest actions, typhoons, earthquakes, missing bags, Metro Manila's notorious traffic and VIP cars breaking down. These are only a handful of problems security officials are prepared for in the lead up to the big summit. All eyes are on Manila as it plays host to the APEC Economic Leaders Meeting and in the wake of world condemnation of the attacks in Paris. Will one year's worth of preparation be enough? Beko Pin Rappler, Manila.